this is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing well this morning and we're going to be looking at what is going on across the North Atlantic. And so on the infrared sunlight imagery, we can see that there is some action in the United States. So there is some severe weather effect in some areas. And uh, as we look to the vicinity of the Caribbean, uh, we can see that blob of a lot of rain and uh, even thunderstorms in parts of northern Colombia. And then out in the main development region, there are some clusters of convection around here and there. And so as we zoom into the uh, Caribbean, here we can see this flow of activity from the southwest. So there's a trough which extends into the region and winds tend to move from an area of high to low pressure. So that trough is an air flow pressure. Hence the reason we have this flow of activity but there was a lot of action in parts of northern Colombia, even headed towards parts of Panama as well. So it is a stormy morning for some areas down there. And then some of this activity stretches through parts of Haiti and the Dominican Republic and even uh, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands as well. But then there are some cloud clusters coming in from the east, uh, which may bring some rain or even some overcast skies for parts of the Lesser Antilles as we head through today. Over in the Western Caribbean, those things are on the quieter side. So let's head on to that rainfall forecast from Euro. Here we can see it. Now there could be some showers in parts of the Central and Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, spots in Eastern Cuba, Jamaica, and even near the uh, Cayman Islands as well. So some showers are definitely possible today. There could even be some heavy downpours in parts of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. And then uh, headed to Central America for the Northern Territories, much not really expected. Parts of Mexico, uh, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, the Bay Islands, and uh, parts of East, uh, Western Nicaragua, rather. Maybe just a stray shower, nothing persistent. But then as we head further south, as I showed you guys, there's that blob of rain and thunderstorms around. So a lot of activity within the vicinity of Costa Rica, Panama, and even Colombia. Uh, parts of Venezuela should be on the drier side today. Same thing for the Guyanas, although there could be some rain in uh, parts of the northern territories. ABC Islands, much not expected. A shower may move by, though. Same thing for Trinidad and Tobago. And then, as I mentioned, uh, for much of the Lesser Antilles, there are those cloud clusters moving in, which may bring a shower or so, or maybe some intermittent rain. And then it is going to be a similar thing for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, as much as not expected today. Now, as we look at the wind forecast, it is going to be pretty windy for parts of the Caribbean. So the darker purple and the blue shadings represent some of those stronger winds. So as we head through today, uh, it is likely that there will be winds up to around 10, 15 knots across much of the Caribbean region. But into this evening, winds are going to kick up a little bit more for the southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, maybe over 20, 25 knots uh, with higher gusts at maximum today. And then for the Southeast Caribbean, ABC Isles, it will likely be a windy day as well. Same thing going towards uh, the Northwestern Caribbean within the vicinity of Central America, the Bay Islands of Honduras, Belize. It will also get a little bit windy as the day goes on. Finally, we're looking at the Saharan dust and here we can see all these brown shadings. So some of that denser dust is going to be dissipating over the weekend and there's still going to be some around, by the way, but it will definitely not be as dense compared to earlier this week. However, there's still quite a bit of dust offshore, just offshore Africa, and that usually helps to stabilize atmospheric conditions. And if we should go back to the infrared satellite imagery, we can see that there's nothing significant really happening here because there's a more stable environment. However, we will soon have those tropical waves rolling off, uh, many of which are likely to develop throughout the hurricane season. But of course, I'll keep you guys posted as time goes by. And so that is it for now. I really do hope you found this video to be very informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts there. And remember to always be weatherwise.